Hey all, welcome to the first location of the Autumn Farm story. So we have to help Grandpa with tasks at the Autumn Farm because the winters are coming. So watering system in the greenhouse. Let me just dig out the tiles outside first. is just 332 tiles so not the big one on a fourth location event though I would expect bigger locations mm. let's see we have to put the pipes in place here and it's always advisable to start with the ones in the corners first because if you place the outer ones then you will not be able to place the inner ones so place the inner ones before the outer ones this is another inner part you have to place these in the same order as me otherwise you may not be able to place them without taking them back out Okay, we are ready to fill the watering can with water. Now we have to move it through the young plants, this section here. So let's take it and drag it all over. One tile here. All of those little sap uh, saplings. I'm taking it in a spiral fashion. You could do it line by line or however you prefer. Alright then, colorful plants all watered up. One out of five. Hmm. Seems interesting. Let's see what the other four tasks are. Oh, looks really interesting. So sprinklers are here for watering the flowers. Um, these holes need to be fixed as well. These are the metal sheets we can use to fix the holes. It's just one metal sheet, the other metal sheet is on the other side. Okay, two metal sheets. Let's just fix the pipes first. And now let's start rotating. So this is the water source. You need to turn these pipes to connect with the other pipes. And you have to connect the closer ends. So this upper part here is a dead end. It doesn't go anywhere. So down we go. This has to be rotated so it can't go straight. Now since we are here, let's rotate this part as well. Two more parts to rotate as I see. So this now builds a connection to all six of the sprinklers that will grow the flowers which means we are done with task 2. Great, let's move on to another part of the greenhouse. So even if this is a small location, this is a really interesting one. Let's see what we, what's next. Pipeline is missing some parts. Hmm, they are in this room and the room key is here so let's go fetch that key.
Hmm. So let's see. Um. Let me just take out these parts first. I'm not putting them in place right now because I still need to figure out the orders. I'm just taking all those pipes out first. This in fact is going to be the first part I'm going to place. So let me leave it right there. Okay, we have taken the parts out of the room. Now let me place them. So this corner part can go first. Next, let's put the per pipes in place. I will need a vertical one first. Um, I don't need another vertical because two curved pieces will do the job here. So this is part one of the pipeline. Now you can use this wall to take the water from the lake into the tank. Now from the tank to the flowers you will need to rotate these pipes. Not exactly to the flowers directly. Water will go into the watering can first and then from there you have to drag it all around. So yeah, a bit of a time consuming location even if there are not that many tiles which is a good thing in fact. Mm, let's go move it all around. Colorful garden coming up. Some more plants are on the upper left side. All right, so we have a beautiful garden ready, three out of five. Let's move on to the next part, which is this room, I think. getting harder let me just make out those styles first okay now let's figure this out what the question is connect the pipe part so that the right and the left pipeline are symmetric all for each pipeline can be turned only once that pipeline is finished so each of those sides they must look uh, mirrored to each other so not a big deal we can manage to do that first we need the horizontal one coming out of the pipe and then we have curves um, we need this curve first and then this curve will go here but the other one is kind of stuck we need to get that out um, it comes all the way to this point you can use these mini plants as a sort of hint there would be no pipe that would go on those plants so you can fill in the gaps now we need a vertical and a horizontal one we have both of them 
there could be a lack of room which adds to the strategy mm, not really first pipeline is ready now since the first one is ready the other one should not be a big deal i will rotate both those pipes together uh let's take this one out from this point it's only curves this one is a straight one here now we have the curves this one we need two more and we do have them Alright, second pipeline done as well. So, time to read the wall. One. Great. It's sprinkler based, so we don't have to drag the watering can all around. Let's go to the last part. Let's see how interesting that is because we have quite a bit of tiles left. Wow, this is a big one. That would be fun, of course. Now, let's begin. We have to find how in the plants next to each water tank. We have to pay attention to the position of the sprinkler. Oh, so we have some special sprinkler pipes that would be next to the plants. Before I look at any plants, I am going to dig up all the styles to clear off the clutter. It's even getting harder to reach those other tiles. So the question of fixing those pipes is going to be a lot more difficult. Uh, never mind reaching those pipes. I'm just going to start with it already. So from the beginning, we go straight up to this point. From there we turn downward. Mm, the important one is the sprinkler part, which is this one right next to that bush. Uh, let's just fix those other ones as well. This pipe piece is not needed here. Uh, let me leave it there for now. This vertical one is needed, uh, horizontal I mean. Uh, we go further down the pipe. I need a vertical one first. Now we can place this. got a treasure part here but I'm going to do that in the end after fixing this last part oh no I don't need a sprinkler there I need a spring a sprinkler down here uh, let me remove this then as well as this for now temporary Right, first pipeline is fixed. We have some pumpkins there. Let's move on to the next part. A much harder one. 
so first of all we have three of these right at the end as the third one are we using this probably Okay, three ends are placed. From here we turn left, and after an horizontal one, we have a sprinkler one. Uh, this is the part we will need at that point. Okay, after the sprinkler, we will go down and back to the first curve. Uh, top to down, um, left, right to down, top to down. Um, there indeed is a bit of a lack of room. I have to move the pipes several times turning them one more horizontal will be enough well lack of room again I'm just moving these to the corners from here we go down we need a cross here um, there are curves on the other side we need all of those curved pipes Yep, let's take all of the curved pipes out there. Hmm. This one comes out of the pipe. This one will be on top of it, but not placing that right now I need a left I mean right to top one this is the part okay sounds good this one can come back out for now This one needs to go in first. A vertical can safely be placed there. Now all we need is two horizontals and this curve here. Let me take those horizontals first. This is much more time consuming than I initially expected. But this is just as much fun as well. Great, pipeline built. Moving on to the third one. This one has some rotatable pipes. So let's see. We can in fact move these, not just rotate. The zing of the tiles before looking at the plants. Let's just go and look at the plants instead. So from the center, 
we come down and vertical and then we need some cross section let's work on the side pipes first here we need a plus one plus straight and then a triangle this plus will be needed up there now before we get to the triangle let's go to the left and right of that plus so in the corners here we have the sprinkler part right here bit of a cough room nothing much so in the ends we have the sprinklers and from the plus we have horizontal parts that go up to the sprinklers uh, the benefit of these rotatable pipes is that we can rotate each of those pipes any way we need so that's a big plus so i can put this one there and even this one here but there are a few pipes that are stuck and need to be freed first like this horizontal one let's take it all the way down there as well as this we can keep it there for now we can drag it out later so rotate this and this we are done with that side we have something similar here as well these they are already in the correct position now let's look at the further plan um, again a similar kind of plan from here we go straight one horizontal and one sprinkler part The other side has a sprinkler part. Just making way for that part to be dragged. Just next to the sprinkler we have the curved pieces. I think I can place the uh, vertical one. That is if I have room. Okay, curve, curve, curve and horizontal Now that was easy. This should be the final one. Of course we have a treasure part left. But the major part, I think we are done with that. 286 styles at the end of this. Great. The quest shall be complete. Programming a tractor is next. Hmm. I'm having fun ended, but waiting I'll do that later. So um this room unlocked. I did not check that out. Let me just do that first before I get to the treasure part. No, this in fact took me back to the start. That's not where I wanted to go. So the treasure part is the only thing that's left for now. Forty-five tiles. 
okay 44 inside sounds easy but yes more pipes let's rotate as we go along much easier than what we had outside first tank is already ready so is the second one So this is all about draining this water out, it seems. Alright, all the tiles are done and we have also got the treasure part. So that's it for this location. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.